So, Jimmy, a 2-1 win here in a tight game. Do you want to give us your assessment? Yeah, I, I, I thought it was workmanlike performance, wasn't it? it? And that was exactly what we needed after Saturday. We let our standards drop so low on Saturday. Um, and I told the players in no uncertain terms. Um, yeah, and tonight was about doing the basics right, working hard, going and defending as a unit properly. I'm a bit gutted about them scoring with last kick at game, but... Uh, it, the positives tonight were we had to go and get three points. Um, we defended manfully when we when we needed to. Um, everybody went and put a shift in. All the five subs came on early enough and, and made a good impact on the game. It wasn't our best performance tonight, by you know, in terms of having the ball and the chances we created. But I think we know when we do things right in our own third. You know, we've got a good goalkeeper if we defend well in front of him um, and we defend well as a unit and, and go and get up against the opposition. All the basics that we should do week in, week out, which we have done mostly all over the season, so I've calmed down a little bit. I was like, bear with a sore head after Saturday. Um, but I just thought, that, you know, the lads will hold their hands up. They, I just thought they let the standards drop massively. Um, we weren't at the races and we just didn't work hard enough and do, do them simple things. So, but yeah, a lot better tonight. And um, like I say, I think. Obviously, the main point was to go and get the three points, and, and we've done that. We just needed a little bit of quality to break them down, and we got that in so the 60th minute with Josh Window. Great finish from Edge at Box, so that set us on his way, and yeah, good night in the end. And you made a few changes to the lineup going into today's game. Was that a response to Saturday's result? Yeah, well, I think we had to make some changes to Saturday, and that's just me being blatantly honest, I think, and obviously. Um, Certain players who weren't in the team on Saturday, if we played like that and lost 6 4 at home, um, and just they haven't been going to the team, and I think mean, you're just asking serious questions in here. I think obviously, um, we could have made any amount of changes tonight, but you know, with the four lads that we didn't have in the squad on Saturday, we just, we just felt it was still too early for them, they need some minutes into them. Uh, hopefully they'll get that in the under 23s tomorrow um, if this storm holds off. Um, and, and like I say, it was nothing personal against the ones who've been taken out. It, it could have been any of them. We decided to make four changes. But all the lads came in and did well. And I thought the four lads plus the other one on the bench who came on did well as well. So and the, and the pleasing thing was the attitude. The attitude, which is 99% of the time, has been absolutely fantastic from all the lads. They all just dug in and. They get on so well, uh, particularly for a group that come from different areas. You know, a lot of club. we have got a lot of local lads, but we've got some other lads that have come in from a bit further afield and they just fit in seamlessly. So I didn't think we wouldn't get a reaction, but also I didn't think we'd get that performance that we got on Saturday. So really pleased we can part that one on Saturday. Just said to the players, I said, right, we can forget about that now you've responded tonight. We don't let it happen again and we make sure we just keep uh, doing the basics right and. Uh, and, and working hard and, and just making sure we back each other up and try to get three points and just keep going and see where it takes us. I believe we're back top of the league, so yeah, we'll, we'll, let's enjoy that. And like I say, but fair play to Spires Gate, you know, they, they're down there, they're struggling, and they've got a lot of injuries. I spoke to their manager before the game, Luke, and, but they're not a bad side. They came and caused us a few, few issues and they put balls into the box off the long throw ins, they looked to try and get the wingers in behind the full backs. But I thought we defended it well, and yeah, fair play to our lads. They dug in right to the end, and I thought we managed the game well tonight as well. And they, I know it's 2 1, it looks really close, which it was a tight game, but obviously it was 2 0, and they scored with the last key, which, you know, is a bit disappointing. But I thought, all, all in all, fair play to our lads, they responded well and scored three points. Uh, and a goal for Josh Winder on his first start after returning from injury. How big of a boost is it to have him back involved? Oh, massive, yeah. I mean, Josh came in, didn't he? And I think someone was surprised tonight when I said it was his first goal for the club. Competitive goal, anyway, because like he came in at the start of the season and he was playing. Um, he's a good young lad. We, we know all about him because obviously he's a Lancaster lad and I know all about the Winders from when I've been coaching for, for years around local area. Good players. Um, he's full of energy. Just one of those players, we thought. The one thing that we were disappointed with on Saturday is we just didn't run hard enough and we didn't get up against our men and we didn't have enough honesty about us on Saturday. And the one thing that he will always give you is that. Um, and I said, like, even if Josh will 
misplace a cross or he'll put a shot wide or you know he, he gets into good areas and if his quality sometimes isn't quite you know tonight he was fantastic but he'll never ever let you down through like Endeavour he'll always he works his socks off he's got pace to stretch him in behind and um, you could tell he hadn't played for a while because on 60 minutes he blew up I think his finish was great but it was his last touch we had to get him off he, he'd gone um, but yeah no absolutely fantastic to get him back um, be a big, big player for us going forward. And we move on to Wilmshaw Town now on Saturday, which will be another tough test. Yeah, um, yeah, they've had a bit of a player turnover from last year. James Kings has gone to Staley Bridge, um, so they're a different side to what we played last year. Um, but they're going well. Uh, both Wilmshaw teams are, are decent outfits, uh, and like I say, any game away from home in this division is not easy. So. We'll have to reset, we'll recover, we'll, we'll get um, as rest into us now before training on Thursday and then we'll go there on Saturday knowing that it's going to be a really tough game but it'll be one that we're prepared for and at the moment, you know, we've got the opposite problem to what Luke's got with Squires Gate. He's got a few out injured and his 16's picking itself whereas we've got 21, 22 players available and not in the squad tonight. You've got Ollie Cooper, uh, Finn Lynch, Sean Saylor, Tom Russell, uh, Elliot Wilson, Steve Yawson, the six there, uh, uh, I can name. Um, and I apologise if I've missed anybody, but it's uh, late now. Um, so that, that just shows where the strength in our squad is at the moment. And when they changes tonight, it didn't really affect us, the lads who... who came into the team did well which we knew they would because we haven't got an 11 and then four or five who just sit on bench every week we've got a squad here now and that's why reflecting in why we're doing well so fair play to the ones that came in fair play to the lads who had to go out but then they came on and did well um, and and the other four are showing a really great attitude and hopefully uh, other five and then hopefully we'll get Yawson back soon and he'll give us another boost all right thanks Jimmy cheers Dan thanks a lot